Hi, and welcome to our panel discussion about the future of operations for communication service providers. There's a lot of talk at the moment, which is uh, thinking about complexity, both in terms of our existing environments in the, the 4G world, but also uh, a kind of like a wave of complexity that will come with the fi uh, 5G. How many good examples of, of change or sim uh, simplifying processes um, within your uh, within your area, Andy, I'll come to uh, you. I mean, I can take a stab at that. I mean, the the complexity. I mean, if we define what that complexity is, I mean that's the daily reality for operations teams when they're trying to run the network, when they're trying to deliver these services. And, and it's really, I mean, telecoms tiramisu, that's what I'd call it, because we've got uh, legacy technologies and we never replace those legacy technologies. We actually build new layers on top of that. And if you look at something like uh, the radio domain as an example, typically you've got three radio access technologies. So you've got GSM, you've got 3G, you've got LTE. Within each of those uh, technologies, you're gonna have uh, a coverage layer, one or two capacity layers. So you've probably got 10 layers uh, of radio technology and frequency, and you've got to make sure that all of those layers actually mesh together and work properly. Um, so that's the kind of you know challenge that um, operators face, and to give another kind of example of the, the scale of the challenge that they face. But if you look at one telecom network that has say 10 million subscribers, that's processing a million transactions every second. So that's things like handovers, setting up calls, uh, ensuring the billing's done for, for a, a transaction and so on. So it's on a different order of magnitude um, to those kinds of systems. So it's, it's a huge level of complexity. And I would say that we've kind of reached the point where humans alone are not able to manage that complexity. And that's obviously then bringing in um, a role for automation and AI. Tia, one of the things is complexity is quite often the, the, the process we currently have for yeah. delivery can be very, very compart one compartmentalized and, and to another extent, quite sort of com complex at the right. moment. Where, where are you seeing some of the challenges in that and the opportunities to change that? I think, uh, first of all, we need to also acknowledge that there are many services, again, outside in, end of the day, it's gonna be, you know, the three services that we provide along with connectivity. I think we need to understand that there could be some services that actually do not make the cut to even spend the effort on to move. And I think we need to understand how we manage them to exit. And then we have this category of services that actually will evolve to become hybrid, where we see this uh, mixture of physical infrastructure and the new uh, virtual networks and the 5G networks. Uh, and that's where I think we are trying to build a framework where we can help customers you get to that position step by step. So let's say starting from just abstracting the network and leaving legacy where it is and you know ab abstracting the value and then being able to build services, including for the new hybrid technology that they're introducing. Yeah. Yeah, but, no, but it does involve some difficult decisions as well. Yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. So, I, so, I know an entity which is happy always uh, with all this complexity, which are cyber criminals. Yes. Uh, because the cyber criminals, with all this complexity, we are actually, or, or the world is actually helping them to do their job. At the moment, they might attack one silo inside the, the operator. They might uh, make social engineering on another side of the operator. So. They attack in multiple ways. They move laterally, they move up. It's difficult to go back and restore the system. Sometimes the backups are not even old enough that they can be restored without, without those backdoors. Now imagine this on a huge scale where these attacks happen very frequently. How can we do it? We need to have something, some technology like artificial intelligence that can make this analysis, connect the different silos, analyze the information, and tell the human this is what's going on so that the human can focus on actually writing the procedures to solve the problem. That will need to be solved as well automatically because the networks are huge and several systems might be compromised and mm. it's not possible to go and manually fix things. To explore the operations discussion in more detail, take a look at our expert interviews. Thanks for watching. Don't miss our next episode in the series.